like I learned a lot of things about the pre tribulation rapture and all that and Barack Hussein Obama, like he's not the Antichrist because because if he was the Antichrist he would be very much loved by the world and he would be doing signs and wonders all over the place and people would be running to him, you know? And I kinda like I just learned the truth over these days and and I repent of teaching false doctrine that because I've been introduced to the true truth, like the truth, you know, and Jesus opened my eyes and I'm glad that he took me off that road of destruction because I guarantee you, if I kept on believing that one of these days I would have been deceived by the Antichrist and worshipped him, you know, and like, and the Holy Bible speaks to us. And also, I'd just like to say thank you to Brother Faithful to Yeshua because he's the one that opened my eyes, basically, and thank the Lord that he did because if he, if I never found this channel, I would be deceived, basically. Thank you, Faithful, for Yeshua. Thank you for everything. And ready yourself. And then again, I also like to thank Faithful to Yeshua for opening my eyes more, you know. And I thank you, brother. God bless you. And also. Jeremiah 17, 5, Thus says the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. Anyone who trusts in man by, by default falls under God's curse. Many false teachers gather themselves large followings, and they are making sons of hell. They go on other people's testimonies and put their trust in what men say. Now some of these phony ministries have mostly kids following them, still wet behind the ears with no experience in life and no understanding of the Holy Spirit. God gave us his Holy Bible complete and has promised the Holy Spirit to those who ask for it. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 to 8 says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see the heat, co the heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The important thing to remember is to strive to enter in the narrow gate. Whenever the broad, wherever the broad gate is, and you see many going in there, right? and it's where most seem to be going, you can immediately know that it is not of Jesus, but of a false counterfeit Jesus, as explained in 1 Corinthians 11 verse 13 to 15. Remember, we are living in a time where there is a great deception swarming the world, and many wolves are on the loose who Satan has raised up who fall under the guise of Christianity. These are cursed men made to be taken and destroyed. Men who have a low self-esteem. Men who destroy neighbors with their tongues. Men of corrupt minds who draw close to God with their mouths, but their hearts are evil, corrupt, and far from Him. 
men who have no fruits of the spirit. Their own personal lives and their deeds stink of rotten fruits and cunning devices whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Stop following these fruitless arrogant men who are misleading people with false doctrines and twisted new age scripture. In other words, they are twisting scripture to fit in a new age satanic false teaching. Men who are going to forever be crushed under the foot of Christ. If you lack wisdom, go to God directly. As the Apostle said, Paul said, No one taught him of God, but it came by revelation. If you swallow up everything these reprobates teach you, then you will be cursed by God, because you trust your trust is in man and not in God, because your faith is lacking. These same reprobates are accusers of other other ministers by saying they have no testimonies of people that they've led to God, yet they have more testimonies than these ministries of Satan do. In fact, those that they accuse have followers they themselves snatched out of the hands of these powerless reprobates. The only difference? They do not make a great showing of it. We must go to God directly and run from those reprobates with a seared conscience who try to make themselves a mediator between God and man. James 1, 5-6 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth all men liberally and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. So if you lack wisdom, the Bible says, go and ask God that giveth all men liberally, in other words, freely, and withholdeth not, and it shall be given you, but you must ask in faith. So if you lack wisdom, do not go to man. The Bible says, if you lack wisdom, go and ask God, we will give you freely and will with not withhold it from you. 1 Timothy 2 verse uh, 5 says, for there is one God, one mediator between God and man, the man Jesus Christ. It's all good and well to learn from men who know God, who have walked with God for a long time, who are not filthy reprobates with a seared conscience. But do not follow men who follow doctrines of devils. So if you do not know the difference and how to have the spirit of discernment, you should go to God directly and ask him, as the Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, go to God directly. They give it all men freely and it will be given you. It will not be held back. And then you will be able to know who is of God and who is not of God. Which, doctrine, which doctrines are sound and which doctrines are not sound. Test everything with the scriptures and go to God and ask him for the spirit of wisdom and it shall be given you. But ask in faith. Nothing wavering, as the Bible says. God bless and shalom. I just like to say, just stick with the Bible because stick with the Bible and find true Christians. And I came to realize that true Christians speak the hard truth, the hard truth, like that gets us out of our comfort zones.